Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. And this uh, post here from Activist Post will show you how your constitution uh, has again been nullified and jailed. Uh, this is an ongoing situation. It just came across my eyes, and I think it's complete and utter bullshit. But this has been going on for a year. I'm going to read the post to you here. Army Vietnam veteran, peaceful freedom activist. Notice peaceful freedom activists uh, and local small business and Mark Schmidder, uh, excuse me if I've butchered the last name, has been jailed for 145 days by Judge Belvin Perry. Schmidter's uh, sentence began Thursday after he was found guilty of distribu distributing jury nullification info outside of Perry's self-imposed free speech zone during the Casey Anthony trial. Uh, let's scroll down here a little bit, get the rest of this to you. The computer's working a little slow here today. Uh, Mark Smitner is an activist for the jury's rights whose story we covered a year ago. He was originally facing a year in jail after being found guilty of two felonies, external criminal contempt of court. Uh, right, right there, the word external means that he wasn't even in the courtroom, so you can't, in my opinion, be... It. But anyway... Uh, and jury tampering for distributing information outside the Orange County Courthouse in Florida. We noted that Schmidt was not guilty of any actual law, but rather rules written by the acting judge. These rules that Schmidt is in violation are for demonstrating outside of a free speech zone determined by Judge Perry. Schmidt was first arrested in June of 2011, has maintained his innocence, and that the judge's orders uh, he violated were a direct violation of the First Amendment of the Constitution. Furthermore, the very rule he was found to be in violation has been overturned. Uh, I'm going to link you to this. This is absolute bullshit. Uh, currently, um, the gentleman is in jail. From what we read down here, his attorney's going to see it. So this judge makes up his own goddamn rules, throws an activist in jail, and the information he was handing out, folks, uh, just informs the jury of their rights and responsibilities. You know, what they don't have to do. Um, th there's nothing wrong with that. I, that's great. Let's make sure our legal system is working uh, and everybody's informed. That's what we should be doing, right? Uh, this guy took his own time to make sure jurors and other people were well informed of, of their rights and their responsibilities to serve our legal system. And he's thrown in jail for it by a judge who thinks that he can just put off a roped area out in the back of a fucking cornfield somewhere where you're free to say whatever you want. No. No, Mr. Perry, it doesn't work that way. So what I've decided to do is to go over here to the Ninth Circuit Court and find Mr. Perry's phone number, and I'm going to give him a call right now. I'm going to demand that Mr. Smitner be released and that the judge make a public apology and uh, also step down from the bench. It, it isn't his right to make the law. It is his job to interpret and enforce the law. But he has no goddamn right making up laws that end up throwing people in jail, and, and we don't need judges like him around. So I'm going to go ahead. You can see i got the number here. I'm going to give him a call. I'm going to ask you all to do the same thing uh, because this is just ridiculous here. Doesn't think I have a valid number. Okay. Well, let's see here. Okay, here we go. You have reached Chief. Judge Belvin Perry's chambers. We are unable to answer your call at this time, but if you leave your name and number, we will get back with you as soon as possible. Thank you. The person for whom you wish to leave a message does not have enough available space in his or her mailbox. We are unable to take your message at this time. To disconnect, press 1. To enter another number, press 2. For assistance, press 0. 
Well, he doesn't have enough room to even there take messages. There is no messages. operator defined for this extension. Goodbye. No operator. No room on his voicemail. Oh, well, if we can't simply call the judge and contact him, th then we're going to have to take further action, aren't we? We're, we're going to have to, I don't know, maybe find some fax numbers and send a few faxes. I mean, my website does host uh, a way that you can send multiple free faxes. Maybe we could all get together and do that. Anyway, I'm going to put the phone number to Perry below, and, and even if they're sitting there ignoring the phone, if you ring it off the hook, if you all take part... Uh, if you are lucky enough to get through, please let me know. Um, this is ridiculous. This man needs to be released immediately. As far as I'm concerned, this judge needs to be the one in jail. Anyway, uh, the link to Activist Post will be below, folks. Uh, the phone number to uh, Perry Blevin. And I'll even link you to the, uh, the judge's directory. Uh, maybe you have a few minutes and you want to go over here and uh, let these people know just what you think of their illegal uh, regime. It's an illegal regime. That court, uh, Ninth Circuit Court, because of the actions of one judge, it needs to be removed. It needs to uh, be held accountable and hopefully you all take part in that. Much love. Many thanks. Links will be below.